thank you for choosing to spend your time with me. It's, it's really great that you have. Um, I just wanted to talk about a question that has come up a few times uh, and I'm quite surprised, but I'm not judging anyone. So yeah, um, the question is, do they add flavors to the wine? So you hear a lot of weird descriptions such as mango, apple, orange, grassy, ooh, or herbaceous, using a very good word. And there are many, many more. Uh, so all these flavors actually come from the grape juice itself, um, which is really exciting. But I suppose the question is, why do the grapes that wine's made out of not taste like the grapes you buy in the supermarket? Um, they're a, a different style of grape. Uh, they're different variety. Uh, the climate's really different. And there are lots of other reasons as well. But uh, yeah, that's basically why. So the grape variety on the bottle, such as Merlot, Pinot Gris, or Sauvignon, Cabernet Sauvignon, Pinot Noir, the Malbec, the list is endless. Um, there are tens and tens of thousands of different grape varieties, and each different grape variety has its own particular flavor. So, if each grape variety has its own particular flavor, it means that each one has typical flavors, things that you know it should taste like because that's what the grape tastes like. So a great example is Sauvignon Blanc, which uh, typically has flavors of gooseberry within it. It has flavors of elderflower and it has a sort of cut grass flavor as well. Uh, all white wine will have somewhere tucked in there some green apple flavors and some lemony flavors, uh, just because that's the nature of grapes. Um, but yeah, most Sauvignon Blancs, uh, rule of thumb time people, uh, will have uh, some of that flavor. Now the question you ask is, where do all, why do not all Sauvignons taste the same? Why do not all Pinot Grigios taste the same? Some of the Italians do, but uh, why do not all cabs taste the same? That's the next part of the question. And it's fairly chilly. I mean, admittedly down here it's fairly warm, but ultimately it's quite chilly because if we go across, you start getting, I mean, London isn't far off Moscow in terms of latitude. Uh, the climate is fairly chilly. So, the places like down here, South Africa, can get very, very, very warm. Australia, woo! And some of the wine producing areas here are boiling hot. Uh, all down here, you've got Chile along here, which interestingly doesn't go up and down, it goes side to side in terms of where you grow grapes because of the height. Altitude becomes an issue. Uh, Argentina, there for your Malbec fans. Uh, North America can get very warm. All of these things, it's all down to climate and each area has a different climate and that really affects the grapes. So a really hot climate is gonna make a much riper grape, which means there are more fruit, more sugar, makes it juicier. A cooler climate wine won't have as much ripeness to it. And that's where the different flavors come in. So the soil adds flavor, and there is a proper word for that, but I will do a video on that one. Sorry, back to the maps. This is Loire in France. I love Loire, it's very exciting. And here is Sancerre, just checking, yes. And that's Puy Fumé. Uh, and Sancerre, very famous Sauvignon Blanc, but the soil all around here is basically chalk or limestone. Um, and it gives the flavor, the wine, a uh, kind of chalky quality. It's, it's called minerality, and it picks it up from the soil. The climate adds flavor, and also how they make the wine adds flavor. Their yield, so how much they try to get, how many grapes they get off each vine. Uh, if they do anything afterwards, oaking, 
uh, with red wine, they can make it in a different way, they can ferment it in lots of different ways. There are loads of different things they can do to the wine, to the grape juice, to add some uh, extra flavours. Uh, so oak adds, can add vanillary, it can add uh, sort of a weird buttery toasty note. There can be all other things that they do to it. Uh, they can age it on lees, which makes it really brioche and rich. Uh, there's lots of other things that they can do uh, without adding literal flavours. Um, yeah, so the um, to answer the question, do they add flavours to the wine? No, that comes from the grape variety, which is almost, for want of a better word, a different. Each grape variety is a different species. Uh, so each grape variety will give you a different flavour profile. Um, each they then the climate that'll give you a different flavour. Then on top of that, you've got the soil where it's grown. That will make a difference. In some cases, not so much because it comes from a vast area. In some cases, a very very tiny area, just a, a couple of hundred meters square, and that will give a different flavour. Um, and then obviously afterwards, the winemaker can put it in oak barrels, not put it in oak barrels, do all sorts of things. Um, yeah, so that's how the flavours come about in the wine. Um, thank you very much for watching. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, yes, if you would like to like, share and subscribe, and I'll keep going with these videos. Thanks very much. Bye.